go to Atlanta, uh, where we started off. Franklin is joining us there. Franklin, how can we help? I'm doing well. Hope you guys are, too. Um, John, I'm going to talk to you. You always give sage advice and uh, dig a little bit deeper and hit the nail on the head. Uh, so just thank you. And Thanks, hope man. Hope you guys can help me out today. So what's up? Um, so my grandparents uh, have it's been their intention ever since I was born to give me their house that they have lived in. Uh, they actually built it. Um, could have been on home and gardens, done a lot of acreage. Um, very beautiful. But my grandfather has since passed. My grandmother is now eight and nine, and it's in a lot of disrepair. Um, and furthermore, that there's no use for me to have this house. It's you know an hour away from where me and my wife and my family are currently living, and it's the amount of upkeep it would require. Uh, it's almost a full-time job, so there's just no way I can keep it. Uh, but my grandma always tells me, and you know, now that she's getting at the end of her life, that's her you know, intent is to give me this house. I'm in the will to do what she actually wants to go ahead and title it to me now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't have it in my heart really to uh, tell her that I, you know, I would not plan on keeping this house. My intent would be to, to sell it, unfortunately, just because I want it to be a blessing and not a burden. Mm-hmm. Um, so kind of having a, some issues dealing with that. What is it? A... <sighs> Why can't you just take the house? And then when it comes time for you to make decisions that are right for you and your family at a later time, um, you can make those decisions then. I can certainly do that. And I think, um, I guess my issue comes down to, you know, she always asks me what would I do with the house, you know, when it is mine. And I kind of, you know, shrug my shoulders, you know, not really sure yet. I have to make a decision about that later. But in my heart, I know we would sell it. So I just feel bad, I guess. I don't want to say leading her on, um, but I kind of just feel bad about, you know, telling her or even just doing that really. And I think there's a lot of equity issues too, where I've been kind of the golden child of the family. Yep. Um, and there's a lot of other grandkids and other, there it is. That's know, what I was family. getting at. This has nothing to do with that house, dude. <laughs> you don't want to be that kid, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's definitely part of it. I think it, the bigger part really is I don't want to let her down. And I feel like I yeah. would be letting both, you know, my late grandfather and her down by selling the property. Hmm. I, I, I disagree with that. Um, it may be a conversation you have with the rest of your family. Um, you're a grown up. You can do what you want to with a gift that somebody gives you. If you if it's a family home and it's a family estate, then clearly if you're going to sell it, then you could um, sell it for a dollar to your cousin, right? Or to you could create a trust. There's a hundred different things you could do with it. Um, it's it sounds like you're making it a bigger ethical deal than than it needs to be. And if you think it needs to stay in the family, but you don't want it, if you don't want to quote unquote disappoint somebody that gave you a gift, then do what you want to do with it. But I don't see any reason why you need to tell your grandma, um, Hey, I'm not taking this gift. Like she's eight. What? How old is she? 86, 89. 89? I mean, I don't know. It's, it's going to be a gift to her to let her take, take the gift. What do you think, Ken? Um, I don't disagree with what you're saying, John, but I would challenge you, Franklin, if you don't want the house, for the reasons that you don't want the house, it's not like her coming to your birthday party when you're 11 and giving you a birthday present and you're going, I don't want a birthday present from me. I think that sting pretty hard. I think if you explain to her why you don't want the house, but you're honored, you're, 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 you're feeling all the feelings, and you say, Grandma, I, I don't want the house, but I want her to you. I think at some point you've got to put your big boy pants on, and I think there's a way to do that. Um, but I don't disagree with what John said either. I think you've got to get over. Either way, you're going to have to get over disappointing Something. somebody there you go i think that's the issue either i'm disappointed or i'm worried about criticism from my siblings or or whoever else uncle larry or the cousins uh or i'm worried about grandma being disappointed at some point john i'm not gonna make a major life decision that i don't believe i should do just because it might disappoint somebody so i'm gonna be a little bit tougher and go put your big boy pants on franklin and tell grandma the truth i think she can handle it but be loving yeah. and very respectful in the process that's what i do and I'd take the house. <laughs> and we'll figure it out later. I, that's why I said I don't disagree. I love it. But if he's worried about his other stuff, at some point he's got to make the decision.